Are those games for sale? Well, we're debating. Oh, what are you looking the at? The Simpsons game, probably. The Simpsons. And then what are the other four games that I can't see? They're Dragon Ball Z. Okay. I mean, I'd take a look at them. And the Simpsons one, too. Jackpot. Okay, so this is going to be a video of the highway yard sale in Missouri that I went to last weekend. It stretched from, I think, Jackson, Missouri to Festus, Missouri, which is about 75 miles. We didn't make it the whole 75 mile length, probably only 30 or 40. Next year, we might start at the bottom and come up. That would ensure that we make it to everything or we might do a two day thing, I'm not sure. Either way, we're gonna do this video a little bit differently. So typically I get everything together that I bought and then we review it at the end. But after each garage sale footage in this video, I'm gonna come back to me here and talk about the items that we got and see what they're worth. Yeah, they do have games. Look at that. They got a couple games, but it looks like he's looking at them. Yeah. You want to jump in on something? Somebody's looking at it. Is this your sale? Yes. Would you sell these two games separate from the system? Um, maybe. They're just like the best game, so I don't want everything to sell. Yeah, I understand. Um, yeah, what are you thinking for them? Um, would you like 10 bucks? I would do 15. Oh, yeah. Let's look at it. Would you do 12? Sure. All right. Do you have any Legos that you're selling? Um, I don't. Okay. We have a bazillion Legos. Yeah, I just wish keeping them. Sell. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> I'm tired of picking up Legos. Nope, I understand. Thanks. All right, cool. Thank you. You're going to want to. All right, guys, so as you saw at that garage sale, they did have some video games. It was one of the first sales that we went to, so I'm assuming that's why the video games were still there. The consoles had a lot of wear, and when I turned one or two of them on, they just turned off immediately. I think they were broken or had issues, so I didn't want to mess with broken consoles. I think each bundle was priced at like $30, $30, and then one was $40 because it had the two games that we got. So we paid 12 bucks for a Mario Kart DS and a new Super Mario Bros. cartridge. Not going to be a huge profit or anything. I'm going to put comps up for... Um, the stuff that we get so you can see what we're expected to make from each garage sale um, But again paid 12 bucks here, but no, nothing too special. Uh, let's get on to the next sale How's it going? Okay guys, so as you saw at the end of that garage sale, we did pick up these two creepers. We've got a Geiger Model E creeper and a TRW service line creeper. I think this one is definitely older. It's sturdier. It just seems to be built better. And then this one's a little bit more flimsy. We paid $3 total for them. They were marked $3 each and we just got them for three bucks total. We kind of just took a chance on these to sell them locally. Um, I saw maybe a couple sold on eBay and then a couple listed. It looks like, you know, they could sell for upwards of like 50 to 60 bucks on eBay, possibly, but we're just gonna try and sell them locally, get maybe 20, 30 bucks out of each one, hopefully. And yeah, so we just took a chance on these. I don't know too much about them, but that's what we got. I'm gonna look at, take Someone's a look at this at little TV. TV. Oh. Do you know if it works? Oh yeah, did probably. Quit using it. 
all the flat screens. Yeah. Had it in my bedroom. I want to see if this is something that would work for gaming. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, so with that sale, we ended up picking up this Broxonic TV with the remote. Um, I don't know too much about these TVs. I know some of them are worth money for like retro gaming. I have tested some games on this already, so it's been useful to me. But as far as how much I'm going to get for it, I have no idea. I've got it listed for like 100 bucks. Probably going to have to lower that a little bit, maybe to like 50 I mean, I paid 5 bucks for it, so not too big of a deal. But this was just me kind of taking a chance on this TV. It is smaller, but it does take up space. So I do want to get it moved rather quickly. I'll probably lower the price here soon. But five bucks, hopefully we can get 50 bucks out of it. We will see. Any Legos for sale? Video games? Okay, let me take a look. Oh, right here? Xbox, yeah. Okay. Do you have the systems that you're selling? No. Okay. And these are all you got, right? No yes. other like Nintendo stuff or anything? Okay. I will probably pass on those, but thanks. Of course. Are those games for sale? Well, we're debating. Okay. Yeah. So that's a PS2. Okay. It, it, that is a PS2. Everything's right. there to use it. And then all the games, we don't know if we want to sell it all as a set. We don't know. Yeah. Okay. It's all coming back. PS2 is. A, right. Did, did you know that? Yeah. 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 yeah my People are looking told for games. Me last and stuff. night. Yeah. So we looked it up. Yeah. It's interesting. Who knew? But. Um, Yes, possibly. Well, okay. What, well, what are you looking at? The Simpsons game, probably. The Simpsons. And then what are the other four games that I can't see? They're Dragon Ball Z. Okay. I mean, I'd take a look at them. Yeah. And then the Simpsons one, too. Okay. And then we priced them to game stuff, so... We don't know how, we don't know what we're doing really. So the one grandson said, if you don't sell it, I'm keeping it. Of course they keep everything though, you know? Mm, no, I understand. And is the PS2, is it is it a silver one? No, it's the black silver. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And all the components are in here for hook it up and, the, and then there's memory cards. And so would you sell just these five and the PS2 or do you want to sell it all together? Like, hundred bucks. We're waiting for the grandson to get a hold of us. Those and and this, a hundred. Yeah. For these and the yeah. PS2. Let me let me ask. Yeah, go ahead. You do that. Yes. All right. Okay. Hold that. Let me get you a bag, okay? That's fine. I don't need one. It'll sure. be okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank I appreciate you. it, though. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yeah, no Good luck with the sale. Thank you so much. All right. So here's everything that we got. We've got a silver PS2 controller, a black PS2, a slim PS2 with a surprise disc inside. We've got Supreme Rock Hard Ab. So that is awesome. We're probably going to have to resurface that one. Um, then we've got the cords, a couple memory cards. I love picking up memory cards for like GameCube and PS2. They're such easy sells and you can get, if you lot them up, you can get like 40 bucks for like five of them. So that is awesome. And then the games, right? So we've got Budokai Tenkachi 3 complete and the disc is looking pretty good. So this is almost a $200 game. I'm going to put comps up, but this is the steal of the deal. Then we've got Road Rage. Obviously, this would be better if it was hit and run, but we picked that up. And then we've got all the Budokais. So we've got Budokai 1, Budokai 2, and Budokai 3. So I'm not sure. I think these are all 
disc only, they are. So I'm not exactly sure the value of these three. Um, probably like 50 or 60 bucks together. This might be like 15 and then this is 200. So I don't know profit exactly. We're gonna put it up on the screen, but this was an awesome deal and an awesome garage sale. Any other games you're selling or the systems or That's anything? That's about it. We, okay. we just sold the system earlier. Okay. How about any Lego? Okay. How much for the mirror? Uh, three parking. How about three bucks? Three bucks? So here's the mirror that we just picked up, Little King's Cream Ale. I almost walked away without picking this up, but I went back to look at it and he said three bucks and I couldn't really resist picking it up. It looks like it could go for around like 60 to 75 bucks on eBay. I'm likely not going to list this on eBay because I just don't want to ship an item like this. Probably going up on Facebook for like 40 to 50 bucks and make a quick 30 to 40 buck profit. So I think it's really cool looking. Um, you'll see like in the mirror, there's like some darkening. I'm assuming it's not supposed to look like that and it just does because it's so old, but this is a pretty cool mirror. So I was happy to scoop it up for three bucks. Any Legos you're selling? We well, you got rid of them already. Yeah, how about video game stuff? Same? Wednesday night. Wednesday night? Yeah. They took the PlayStation, the Xbox 360, the Xbox, and the Wii. Okay. And every game that went with it, the yep. same guy. All right. Any like handheld stuff? Uh, game Boy or like DS or have, whatever? Did you sell both our DSs? I can't guarantee it still works. Okay. But for sure, we still got the charger. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't know. You guys know okay. more about it than me. Got two of them. Games and what? whatever's in there. Wreck It Ralph. Yeah. And... <laughs> Pokemon Ultra Sun. Okay, I take a look at the 3DS. If that's all right. Yep. There's also a game in it. Okay. That yeah, looks pretty. That's good. Super Mario Bros. There's styluses in there. There's 20. There you go. I appreciate it. All right, cool. I appreciate it. Yep. Thanks for grabbing that. Be safe out there. Thank you. As you saw in that video, the seller said that someone came and cleaned out all their video games on Wednesday night. So I wasn't even there till Friday and that's totally fine. I would have been doing the same thing on a Wednesday night if I was there trying to get the games early. But after talking to them a little bit more, they said they had a 3DS and some games still available. So they came back with it and they wanted 30 bucks for everything that we've got here. We took it. Let me get all this stuff out and organize it a little bit better and we'll take a look at what's here. All right guys, so we've got everything out here. Let's take a look at the 3DS first. Some exterior scratching, it does need a clean up, but otherwise, this looks pretty solid. So, awesome score. This definitely makes back our buy cost of 30 bucks. This is probably worth about 100, but I'll put comps up for that. Then let's run through the games really quickly. So I know obviously some of them are gonna have value and some of them aren't. There might be a surprise or two in here, but we've got Wreck-It Ralph, Super Mario Bros. 2, Lego Marvel Super Heroes, Angry Birds Trilogy, Angry Birds Trilogy again, I guess they were big Angry Birds fans. Mario vs. Donkey Kong, Miniland Mayhem. Spider-Man Edge of Time. If this was the 3DS version, I think it'd be worth about 40 bucks, but I think this is only about 15. Lego City Undercover, The Chase Begins. Phineas and Ferb, Across the Second Dimension. Phineas and Ferb, right again. Ultra Sun, probably about 30 bucks there. Super Mario 3D Land, Ice Age. Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures 2, Jumpstart Deep Sea Escape, Animal Genius, Looney Tunes Duck Amuck, Ridge Racer DS, and Gem Smashers. So I'll be honest, when I saw him come back with that basket of games, I thought there was going to be some really awesome stuff in here. And there are some decent games. But I really was hoping that there would be better stuff than this. For 30 bucks, I can't complain at all. We're going to make probably about 200 bucks on this stuff is my guess but with the amount of ds games in here i was really hoping there'd be some 
you know, Pokemon games like Soul Silver or Heart Gold or anything like that, or just some more valuable games like Zelda or something. But again, we paid 30 bucks. This is going to be an awesome profit. Can't complain about it. Um, and we'll take it because they thought they had sold all their video games. So let's move on to the next sale. Did you have any other Switch games or anything? Oh, okay. No, they just had duplicates of that. Okay. No other games that you're trying to sell or anything? Okay. Would you take any less for the Mario Kart? I would take 20. I'd take 20. I'll do 20. Okay. I love that. That goes for itself. I'm sure he'll like that then. There you go. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, here's that copy of Mario Kart 8 that we got for 20 bucks. Not going to be a huge profit, but maybe about 15 bucks on Facebook, so we'll take that. Do you know what you'd want for it? Uh, you would probably know better than I would. Okay. And then th this does have the charger to that. Okay. like there's some cheat codes in there, too. <laughs> I'll take a look. And you don't have any like other gaming stuff like no. hand, handhelds or anything like no, that? No, okay. we don't. Oh my goodness. Hey, this is it. Do you have any thoughts? I'd probably do like, like 40 bucks. Sounds great to me. Okay. collecting dust in the basement, right? <laughs> right. Oh. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank no, you so thank much. you for bringing it out. Yeah. I hope you get these two little pumpkins, one for each little girl. Yeah. That, that yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Be safe. As you saw in that video, my dad was up there before me and he asked the seller if they had any video games. And by the time I got up there, she was going inside to get the PS3. So it's a slim PS3. There's two controllers. I honestly can't find the other one right now, but they are off-brand controllers. So I did factor that into the price that I gave her. So we've got a dirty slim PS3. We've got a SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. There aren't any crazy games in here, but there's another SmackDown, which I think will be decent. Um... And I don't know, maybe there's a surprise in here, but either way, these will all be bundled with the console. And we probably should be able to get like 80 to 100 bucks for this. I think this might be worth selling separately. I don't know about disc only version, but um, either way, should be about a 60, probably about a 50 to $60 profit. So nothing crazy, but we will take that. Do you have any other games you're selling? That's the only one. Okay. Somebody came earlier and bought what few he had. Okay. Any Legos for sale? Okay. Pay you for the game? All right, cool. Thank you. Here's our 25 cent, well maybe this should have been 50 cents, but I only paid 25 cents. But um, here's our 25 cent copy of Final Fantasy 13 on the PS3. I mean, this is worth like 12 to 15 bucks, I think. Just couldn't pass it up for a quarter. Okay guys, so I didn't have my GoPro on for this because we stopped at the gas station and I took it off and I forgot to put it back on. So let's see what I got. Got all this for 60 bucks. So we've got two Switch Joy-Cons, Animal Crossing cartridge only, Unravel 2, which I kind of guessed on this while I was there. I think it's only worth like 15 to 20 bucks. It takes two, one, two switch, and then two 128 gigabyte SD cards. So all that for 60 bucks. I mean, it's not the biggest profit, but we should have no problem making like 40 to 60 bucks off this stuff. So. All right, guys, and that is everything that we got at the highway yard sale. So I'll be honest, I was really hoping we'd find a little bit more stuff. I don't know what our total profit is gonna be. I'll put up an estimate at the end of this video right here while I'm talking, but I was really hoping we'd find more than we did. So what I've noticed on, on the highway yard sales, we've been to that one a couple times and we have found stuff, like we found stuff today and it's gonna be good, but a lot of people along that route seem to be resellers, which obviously is totally fine, I'm reselling stuff, um, but it seems like you know they know that once a year, they're gonna have a three or four day yard sale and they can sell all kinds of stuff and maybe make a couple thousand dollars, I don't know. But um, that kind of trims away at what you think you might be able to find. Plus, there's probably a ton of people looking for stuff. So 
In my experience, they can be a little disappointing. Maybe I've just been unlucky. I'm gonna continue to go to them. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching. I had a ton of footage to sift through. We went to probably 75 garage sales and only found stuff at maybe, what, eight of them, 10 of them. Um, there's probably stuff that we missed too, right? I'm not perfect. I don't know everything. I'm mostly looking for video games because I think it's just easier to ship and sell and list. The definitely stuff that we missed. And if you notice anything you saw in a video that I missed, feel free to shout it out in the comments. But as usual, I appreciate everybody that's been watching, liking and subscribing. And I will see everybody on the next video.